The Wii was the first game console I ever owned, not counting the family computer, and I loved that thing. It was a weird introduction to gaming, and the games definitely varied greatly in quality, but overall it was a wonderful first step. And though I loved many games for that peculiar console, one stands out as I look back. A game that I have many amazing memories with, whether I was laughing with my family or trying to resist hucking the controller at my brother. And there goes the tennis racket! Of course, I'm talking about Wii Sports Resort, the new and improved successor to Wii Sports. I mean, I'm pretty sure anyone old enough to hold a controller knew what this game was about, but I don't see enough people talking about it. I especially don't see people talking about my favorite part of it, and I see far too many people talking about its scum, trash tier predecessor that people say is great because it's one of the best selling games of all time. Yeah, because Nintendo cheated and packaged it with their consoles. Of course, Wii Sports Resort had archery with the fridden fruits on each level, had the absurd bowling game where you take a town's worth of bowling pins and try feebly to knock them down. It even had a canoeing mode that no one ever touched. Literally, I've never seen someone play that with a smile on their face. It even had a game mode that transcended the game and brought the world of Wii Sports Resort to a depth it frankly didn't deserve to have back in 2009, but more on that later. But here, in 2020, in the weird times we're in, there is absolutely no plan for another Wii Sports game. Nothing to perfectly complete the trilogy that the first two games perfectly set up. And in my opinion, that is a travesty. Wii Sports is a game that appeals to almost everybody, and it's the first game you think of when you remember the Wii. Now obviously, as a franchise, it's not on the same level as Zelda or Mario, I know that guys, I'm not a dumb baby, but the Switch feels incomplete without it. Am I supposed to play 1-2 Switch and feel satisfied? No, that game deserves to sit in the corner with a dunce hat. We need a sequel in the Wii Sports series in 2020, especially in these trying times. Don't believe me? Well, throw me into crippling debt and force me to take the Vermont bar because I'm about to make my case. Wii Sports Resort is an incredible game, and it was basically all we could have asked for in the sequel to the original Wii Sports. It launched aside the Wii Motion Plus, an add-on for the Wii that I'm still convinced did nothing except force me to sync my controller every 20 seconds. But the game certainly allowed you to delve even deeper into Nintendo's cartoony, arcadey take on a seemingly random selection of sports and game modes. But in my opinion, Nintendo took it a step further, as they often do, and made Wii Sports Resort more than just a collection of sports games. You see, in all these game modes, you get to see a tiny slice of the resort that this game takes place on, Woohoo Island. Maybe you're trying your hardest to absolutely massacre family members with a plastic sword, maybe you're getting absolutely clapped by Lucia in table tennis, or maybe you're just falling out of the sky, but you're always on or around this little island. You get to see this persistent, vivacious world that is way more creative than it needs to be, but you're always locked into the minigame you're playing. The game is creating a world bit by bit, but you can't really grasp it fully because you're only seeing one of the puzzle pieces at a time. But the game pulls everything together in my favorite game, Island Flyover. All of the puzzle pieces come together and you're left with an island that is yours to explore. If you want to wander over to the town, you're welcome to do so. If you want to fly over the golf courses, you're welcome to do so. If you want to kamikaze the innocent civilians, you're welcome to do so. And for each little area of the island that you uncover, there's an eye point for you to collect that will tell you a bit about the location. And that information changes based on what time of the day you're playing at. Let that sink in. There is basically lore for this Wii Sports game. That is the Nintendo effect. They are adding stuff to give depth to a game in an area that they absolutely didn't have to. This isn't just a collection of mini games. It's a resort for you to escape to. And while the lore isn't exactly deep, it's a massive part of what made Wii Sports Resort so special. For a game that basically only had to be a follow-up to Wii Sports, they took it the extra mile, not only with the gameplay, but with the world building. But as much as I enjoyed this game, it's almost impossible to play nowadays. Nintendo hasn't announced a follow-up title for the Switch, which is a travesty. I wouldn't be surprised if they never make another Wii Sports again. But while that's disappointing, it's not like Nintendo is going anywhere. As we've seen, especially recently, they're always willing to release a fresh new take on old, worn-out game genres and turn them into perfect, polished little experiences with absolutely atrocious menu design. And I want that in 2020. I want them to apply their new game design methodologies and their new hardware to this beloved franchise. I know it's against all odds and that there aren't even rumors of it happening, but I think we need it in 2020. Wii Sports Resort is a game that brings people together, and think of how good it could be on the Switch. Wii Sports on the Switch could take Woohoo Island to the next level. Imagine being able to explore it in open world fashion. Imagine the depth they would add to the games. Imagine the new innovative sports they would add. Imagine being able to challenge other Switch users online. Okay, maybe don't imagine that last bit because Nintendo still sucks at making online games, but imagine the others. So this is my baseless, desperate case to get Nintendo to release a sequel to Wii Sports Resort in 2020. 
I'm stuck inside, I'm quarantined, and I want to play this game with my family and friends. Animal Crossing is great, but my mom has no interest in that. Wii Sports is a language that everyone speaks, and I really hope we haven't seen the last of the series. Zelda, Animal Crossing, Mario, and countless other legendary franchises have been revamped, and there's no series more deserving to be the next than Wii Sports. So please, Nintendo, consider making another Wii Sports game. And that's all from me. Massive thanks to my patrons for supporting my content, especially while I was gone for a little bit, and thank you for watching. Until next time, this has been Meraki. Bye bye Aww.